Hey guys, this is Margaret Lange, creator of the Tapping Into Wealth Coach Training Program. And tonight in this video, I want to talk to you about uh, my recent experience speaking at the Omega Institute. I did a keynote there with lots of other cool people uh, during the Energy Psychology Conference. And I just got so many people to come up to me afterward. My, the title of my talk was Evolving Transformation. Um, and really the, the the leading edge. I can barely remember what the name of my talk was actually, but it was really about like, what's the next? What's the next the next evolution of really transformation and, and where are we going? And in that talk, I talked a lot about shadow work and what it means to do consciousness, expanding work in the lower self or the lower chakras and how the benefits to doing consciousness work when we do transformational work in the lower chakras, not in the upper chakras, which would look like meditation and spirituality and prayer and, and um, you know, healing work for the upper chakras. It looks very, very different when we do transformational work in the lower chakras. But there's two different sets of payoffs. And one of the big payoffs of doing transformational work by exploring the lower self, or what Debbie Ford called the shadow, and Deepak Chopra wrote about it also in the book he did with her called The Shadow Effect, is a totally different payoff, okay? So here's the thing. When you do transformational work in the upper chakras or the higher self, it's going to sound like meditation and spiritual practices all designed to make you feel more zen and more connected and more one with everyone where you're feeling in your heart universal love, love for everyone. And you have this incredible, broad, higher self perspective. You can look back on your life and see like, wow, even the hard things, hi guys, <laughs> even the hard things were helped me be where I am today. Keep telling me where you're from. This is super cool. Um, but when you do transformational work in the lower self, the payoff is very different. Um, doing lower self work in the shadow means, though, that part of the work is going to take courage for you to actually go and meet and do some healing and some forgiveness work and some integration work with with the part of you that you hate the most. And that's what's counterintuitive about it. That's what's hard. And that's why I think it's the blind spot in a lot of people's personal development work. Because who wants to go meet the part of themselves that they actually hate and reject and have actually created a whole identity and personal truth around rejecting that sides of ourselves? It's actually the sides of ourselves that we're terrified people might see. And who wants to go work there when we could do prayer and meditation and spiritual practices that make us feel one and make us feel healed and whole? Well, because there's very different payoffs to doing shadow work. And here's the thing. When we work in the lower chakras, we actually do work with the sides of ourself that are very hard, that have a lot of anger, that have a lot of sadness, and that have a lot of self righteous, ruthless criticism of us. And when we do that, we become a person who has integrated and learned to love and accept and honor and even get gifts from the darkest sides of ourselves that we reject the most. When you do that, you become a person who is more fearlessly you, more willing to be seen as passionate and yourself and on a mission and enthusiastically being you because you just don't care as much about what people might say or how they might react. You're too busy just being you and it feels good. And so when you do lower self work, it's not about feeling universal love or oneness, it's actually the other side of the equation and you need both. It's about feeling individually powerful as you, your individual, your individual walk on this planet, your individual mission, feeling that uprising, that palpable inner feeling of your own sense of power and confidence and passion and desire and what you want to do together with that rising feeling 
that is something that you can't learn, you can't figure out, you can't practice. It's the rising feeling of both passion and courage. And when we have courage, even when we have a little bit of fear, we actually will get out there and be seen more and be in our mission more. So huge payoff for doing that kind of work. And by the way, there is something that everybody will notice about someone who is being fearlessly themselves, who's done lower chakra work or lower self work. Because when you are in their presence, you will feel it. You will feel something about their presence. There will be an energy, a passion, a true charisma about them that will make you both feel safe, that will make you start to have literally more fun being you, and you want to be around them. So um, it's super important to recognize the difference. You know, there's so much learning that we do with our head. There's so much expertise. There's so much to learn out there. And... I love learning too, but this stuff is different. If what you want is a more powerful presence, a, a, a more fearless or more courageous willingness to either open your heart or be seen as you, then you have to work in the lower chakra. So a lot of people came up to me after my talk and wanted to know more about how to do lower self work. And what I was directing them to is I do a training on the secret to a more powerful charismatic presence and I talk about the six characteristics of highly like powerful charismatic people and even three strategies that you can do to unleash more of that and it really does have to do with doing lower self work. So I'll put the link here. Again, the, the, the training resource that I have is called The Secret to a More Powerful Charismatic Presence. Um, and it's, I'm just reading it here. Discover the unique pathway to unleash your passion and your charisma. Become more powerful, more compelling, more captivating, more inspiring, more totally unforgettable, and more highly, boom, paid. Because that is another thing that happens. When you step into your mission in a bigger way, and you are seen more, and you are more passionate, you actually can get paid more than when you're hiding and playing small. And so I'll put the link here below if you're interested in checking that out, because so many people have asked me, and sometimes when I prepare a talk, I am not thinking about what people might want to do next. I was just so focused on my keynote, people came up to me and I was like, um, let me find you a resource. And really, this is the resource that matches talking about the lower self and actually using tapping or emotional freedom technique blended with looking at the shadow sides of the chakras and the shadow sides of Alexander Lowen's um, character structures, or as Reese Thomas calls them, the profiles. And this is what is in this free training. So I will put the link below this video and you can check that out. But remember, it's fantastic to do prayer and meditation and spiritual practice and feel oneness and zen and states of ecstasy and presence. And it's also super important to have the courage to delve down and look at the sides of ourself that actually need to be loved and forgiven and I promise you that even those dark sides of you have a huge gift, a resource state, if you will, for you. And in those resource states, that's where you will find it. The passion, the charisma, the enthusiasm, the courage, it all comes up. And you can't learn it. You can't have it taught to you. You can't figure it out. You can't practice it or research it. It has to be unleashed from within your system. And that's the kind of work that I love to do. So this is Margaret Lynch. I'm going to go have dinner now. Um, creator of the Tapping Into Wealth Coach Training Program and other amazing programs. You can always find me at margaretandlynch.com. And if you like my Facebook Lives, you can subscribe to them. And if you like my YouTube videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel too. And keep checking in. I love knowing where you're from. And I'd love to answer any of your questions. So put a question on there tonight. And I will answer it on my video tomorrow. I promise. Bye for now. Bye.